So in the last video, we spent a lot of time thinking about frames per second, how fast the stimulus can be presented, how to split up an expanding stimulus or a complex stimulus into the numbers of frames we will present it for. And so we, we didn't do much advancing of the program itself, but rather we put a lot of things behind the scene, which we're now going to use to get really accurate timing or as close to an accurate timing as we can get, given the limitations of our hardware or the monitor or uh, whatever, whatever else we're playing with. What we'll do now is we'll change the stimulus from small to big to now expanding and holding. Let's just remember, how did that stimulus look? We'll do it for 10 times. thinking about it. Oh, yep, 10 please. So small, big, off. And remember that small, we can control the amount of time that that small is on. We can control the amount of time that that large stimulus is on for as well. We can also control how many times we present it. What we want to do now is get a smooth transition from small to big. At the moment, we're just jumping between the two. But we know how many frames we have to go between small to large. And we've got the structure of the program here in the loop. So this is the expansion phase and this is the whole phase. And so we can control that, the, the size, and we can control the radius per size. So let's go back up here. And what we're going to do just for this first uh, sort of temporary size is we're actually going to use pixels, not degrees of visual angle. We will get to that. But we're, we're just going to throw in some even and round numbers. So we know that we want to start at 20 pixels, for instance, and we want to end at 200 pixels. Later on, we'll convert into degrees of visual angle, but the concepts will stay the same. So we know that we want to start at 20, end at 200. So what we need to know is the difference between, by how much are we increasing? So the difference, so I'll call this a diff size, equals the end size, whoops, the end size minus the start size. Great. So this is by how much we have to increase from the start to the end. Now, by how much the stimulus radius will increase. So that's the total amount of time, sorry, the total size. But we also know that this stimulus has to increase from two to, sorry, from 20 to 200 pixels in 250 milliseconds or, what's this? Um, yeah. 15 frames. So this is the number of frames. So each time we present the stimulus or flip the stimulus onto the screen, we want it to increase by a certain amount. So how can we calculate that? So we'll call this increment per frame equals, so this will be the total amount we need to increase. So this will be diff size divided by the number of frames expanding. And what we're going to do is we're going to round this off into an integer. Okay, so here with the increment per frame, we now know for each frame, we have to make it bigger by this amount, which is the total size difference 
divided by the number of frames we have in which to expand that size. I'll show you an example here. I've got a little example here. We start at 20, we end at 200. The difference is the end size minus the start size. And we've got 15 frames in which to expand. So the expansion, I called it increment before, but the expansion per frame is the difference in size divided by the number of frames that we have to expand. So if we do this, let's just comment that out. We should see The size difference is of 180 pixels, that minus that. And if we have 15 frames, each frame we need to increment the radius by 12. So how do we do that? Well, we have here, if we uncomment this out, <clears throat> We have a loop here, which is very similar to the loop that we had before in our actual program. We have for i in range, numbers of number of frames we expand, the size of the stimulus will be the start size plus i or the, the frame count multiplied by the expansion per frame. Let's go through this very slowly. When, if we start this loop at the beginning, I will be zero. This is true, so the size will be the start size, which is 20, plus zero times expansion per frame. So the first frame that we're going to play, it's going to be the start size, which is 20. And then I'm just printing this out. The next frame that comes around, the for loop self iterates. This is now one. This one is still in this range. The size now becomes the start size, which is 20 plus one times the expansion per frame, which is 12. So one times 12 is 12. 12 plus 20 is 32. So the size now is going to be 32. So now we've gone from 20 to 32. We then increment again once more. And then the size now becomes 20 plus 2 times 12, which is 24, which is 20 plus 24 is 44. So we've got 20, 32, now 44. And you see how we're getting bigger and bigger because we're just multiplying, or sorry, we're just adding to the start size the numbers of frames of expansion. And this is how we do it. So if we print this out now, what the outcome is going to be, we can see for the first frame, it's 20. Second frame, 32, 44, 56, 68, 80, 92. So here we've got a very smooth increment. The other thing that we're going to do here <coughs> is we'll put in the frame number. So increment on frame is not defined. What haven't I done? Oh, <laughs> oh, silly me. Let's go back. Control Z, Control Z. I'll put it up here. Sorry, I'm not thinking today. Print size, and I'll just print. Uh, we'll print. The frame is Size is sorry, let's try this. Ah, typo. Must be string, not int. Right, okay. I didn't do the string conversion. Jeez, it is quite a bad day today. There we go. So on frame zero, we're at twenty. Frame one, we're at thirty-two. We have fifteen frames in total. Okay, and so you might say to yourself, well, hang on, you're finishing at 188 and the 15th frame. 
But remember, we're transitioning from expansion to holding. So we go from the first loop here, we go across here, so we go from the first loop here, so this will end at 188, and then it goes immediately to the maximum, which is 200. 200 minus 188 is 12, and that's the increment that we've calculated. So on the very next frame, it will hold it at 200. We've got no radius increment here at all. So it will just hold it for the next 15 frames at 200. Right, so here, the size, we have to now put this equation in for the size, the radius. So here is the radius here. This is the expansion area. So this will now be the start size plus the iterator, which in this case is J times. Now, what did we call the increment? We called it the ink per frame. And then we draw it, then we flip it. Now the circ stim dot radius, we want to not hard code that, that will be the end size. It's going to be 200 because we've, we've set it to 200. But now hopefully, if we do this correctly, if we have done it correctly, my track record today for this video is not so great, but let's see what we get. We'll clear the screen, we've saved that. Let's go up, let's do it 15 times again. What do we expect to see? An expanding uh, stimulus. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There we go, and we've got these timing. It's got some some uh, issues with the warning with the issues. Uh, warning with the timing. We're not going to worry about that. What we've done, let's run it again, is in how many videos has it been and how many detours have I taken? We have made a stimulus which expands over 250 milliseconds, assuming 50 frames, uh, 60 frame rate. 250 milliseconds expansion. 250 milliseconds holding. 500 milliseconds off. And we can do whatever we want now. Let's have a look here. What did what did the paper do? We'll put this back over here. Go on. They had some other ones where uh, what happened? They had white on grey. So let us try that white on grey, so the background colour, the window, background colour is grey, we still want grey, but now we want the stimulus to be white, so we go from minus one to plus one, that's the fill colour, the line colour, minus one to plus one, whoops, whoops, again, <coughs> Here we go, there's a white one. Expanding disc, that's white. Okay. We have made, essentially, the Yulmart stimulus. If you want to continue on, why don't you see if you can change the background and the size so now you've got white well it looks great here doesn't it white on black that could just be a visual illusion here see if you can change that you should be able to change that and you should be able to change both the color and the size to make it go from large to small so I'll leave this video here this is the the last piece of the puzzle that we've got. Setting, knowing how to set the radius for each frame that we've presented that stimulus for. That's why I spent some time in the last video saying, hey, we think of it in terms of frames per second, numbers of frames. As soon as we get that, we can 
go into the stimulus properties for that frame and set them and then draw them. Right, look, that's pretty much it. The next lots of videos that I'll do is tidying things up, making things so it's a little bit more robust in terms of we can set any colors or any, any sizes that we want. And the other things that we're going to do is to look for automating the screen refresh rate so we can actually get the refresh rate. And the other thing that we wanted to do was look at converting to degrees of visual angle. But if you wanted to stop here, you've got a fair amount of information now on how to program in Python and how to create a fairly simple, well, some complexity in here, visual stimulus. See you later.